Hello, I'm Jeff Myers, and welcome to Elgin Today. On this edition... This telescope, which has ties to both the planet Pluto and a former U-46 school instructor, is a part of the Gail Borden Public Library's Space Dare to Dream exhibit. Space Dare to Dream, the summer-long exhibit at the Gail Borden Public Library, has helped to bring to light an Elgin connection, specifically the U-46 school district, and a much-talked-about planet, or former planet, Pluto. Our story starts with this telescope and its current owner, a man who will make many special appearances at the exhibit this summer. Well, I taught in U46 for 35 years. I started off at uh, Kimball Middle School, and I taught there for 15 years, mostly science, a little bit of math. When the district went to the four-year high school, and I believe it was 1981, I moved to Larkin High School. And I spent my career at Larkin teaching physical science for 20 years. So that made a total of 35 years in U46. You have a famous relative. Yes, that would be Clyde Tombaugh. And Clyde is famous because uh, he discovered the dwarf planet Pluto in 1930. Clyde would be his second cousin. It's My uh, grandfather, Leon Tombaugh, and Clyde's father, Murin Tombaugh, were brothers. And they were farmers near Streeter, Illinois. And they lived about seven miles apart. Clyde is still in the news. Oh, yes. Actually, the... Um, demotion of Pluto to dwarf planet status actually uh, caused um, quite a bit of new interest in Pluto. And also probably the newest interest right now is the New Horizons spacecraft that is on its way to Pluto. One of the most interesting things of that is some of Clyde's ashes are aboard the Horizons spacecraft. Wow. So he'll be hurtling, he'll, he'll get close to Pluto. That's right. And they're planning to do a lot of photography and other measurements of Pluto when they arrive. Right now, I believe the New Horizon is in just past Jupiter. Now, uh, you have a telescope here at the Gale Borden Public Library. Tell me about it. Uh, this is a telescope that Clyde made in 1927, and he made it for my grandfather. Now, Clyde usually credits my grandfather as the one who kind of got him started in astronomy. My grandfather was kind of an amateur astronomer, self-taught. He had a cheap uh, three-inch telescope that Clyde probably was the first telescope Clyde ever looked through. And then later, my grandfather and Clyde's dad purchased a cheap Sears Roebuck telescope, and they shared it between the two farms, and Clyde used it, my grandfather used it, and I'm sure they used it together. And then in 1922, when Clyde's family moved to Kansas, Clyde took the telescope with him. And I think part of the deal was, if Clyde got that telescope, then when he started making telescopes, he would make one for my grandfather. And it wasn't actually given to my grandfather. My grandfather actually uh, paid Clyde huh. for the telescope. And Clyde used the proceeds of that sale to finance a bigger telescope. And the bigger telescope is the one that he used to make drawings of Mars and Jupiter, and that ultimately landed him the job at uh, Lowell Observatory. And at the observatory, that's where he discovered Pluto. Right, 18 months after he was hired, he made the discovery of Pluto. And Pluto, the planet is named after whom? Uh, actually, it's uh, God of the Underworld, and um, basically all the planets are named after the gods, and they kept that same tradition going with Pluto. Did you have Clyde at any U46 events for the kids? Uh, no, the one time that he was in the area and he was going to come and speak to my classes, uh, we ended up having a snow day. <laughs> so the only opportunity sort of fizzled out because of the snow. This space dare to dream here at the library, tell me what you think it means to the community. I think uh, it's an opportunity for kids in the community to see that you know, anything is possible, that if you really want it and you kind of make the opportunity for yourself, and you do the best that you can. And I think it's, it's just an opportunity to, you know, not just say, I have to be here, and I'm stuck in this particular situation, and I can't go further. I think it's a chance to go beyond and, uh, like they say, reach for the stars. Paul will be with us for on a number of occasions this summer to talk to a, uh, visitors about the, the telescope and, and how he came to get it. And tell me, uh, Space Dare to Dream, this is a wonderful exhibit. It's going to be here through September 23. We will have, uh, it'll be constantly refreshing. We will have SciTech Interactives that come in on August 20th. We were going to be doing Telescope Night with Adler Planetarium, a number of different programs that we're going to enhance this exhibit. Again, we're blasting off all through the summer at Gail Borden Public Library. 